So in this video, I want to quickly talk about this new tool, a uh, new AI based tool for uh, qualitative data analysis, for thematic analysis specifically, which makes uh, this tool already a little bit different and more interesting than the tools I have reviewed to date because uh, previously we kind of had to be creative and try to work around some limitations of these uh, platforms that were not specifically designed for research but this one apparently it is specifically for thematic analysis uh, it's called ai lies so a, a word play on analyze and ai uh, you can see there are tips and tricks uh, and uh, this is the first uh, the, fr the front page it tells you how to operate this platform what to say, what not to say, it's important because, for example, you don't want to apparently ask uh, this tool uh, about numbers. And a couple of other tricks. Uh, at the bottom you see the different plans. I'm using the light one, which is the free one. Uh, the only major limitation is that it only allows you to submit three files per query. So three, uh, upload three documents, which is not too bad if you're not doing a large study or even if you're doing a larger study, I guess you can kind of do it in chunks just submitting three files at a time but anyway you can see there are other plans as well um, so far i haven't really explored this tool too much one thing i have noticed uh, is that at the moment there are still some minor glitches here and there but i know they're working on this i've actually spoken with uh, uh, the person responsible for for this platform and they're constantly working on improving the experience so i wouldn't worry about this too much so let's try this tool uh, what we're gonna do I as always I have this hypothetical study we're working on a study of leadership leadership styles what kind of leadership styles leaders interviewed uh, have what kind of challenges they face and how they overcome these challenges uh, interestingly for this purpose to make sure that I have no idea what the data is about I asked chat GPT to generate three interviews on this topic so that's that's what I did so that I don't know what's in the data uh, so the first thing we're doing is upload the files and now we have a couple of options so we can ask uh, this tool to, to summarize the files ask spe specific questions we can conduct thematic analysis which is what we're trying to do so a whole bunch of things that you can do uh, then if you click on any of these things like if I click on summarize it's gonna give you a couple of options do you want an essay or do you want bullet points for example so if i want bullet points then i can ask uh, some more uh, things so i can i can uh, generate specific instructions i can ask for individual summary and so on and so forth so let's, let's just do what it uh, what it says here and just submit this request for a summary of bullet points it actually went very fast because one thing about this tool that I've noticed is that it can be very slow. Sometimes I've waited a couple of minutes, sometimes uh, to, for it to conduct what I asked it to do. But you can see there is a summary, so I can actually start learning about these interviews. It's a summary of, uh, of all the data. It's a summary of all the data, I believe, uh, not just one interview, although I'm not sure, because I can see Mr. Johnson a lot here. Uh, but I never asked for an individual summary for each document. So I'm not sure you'll have to try this yourself. Now ask a specific question. So let's see what this does. You can see there are examples. Does the participant trust doctors? Or obviously this is not relevant for my study. Um, let's see what we can do here. Uh, does the participant, is the participant happy the participant happy I'm not sure with the leadership this is a weird question I, I think I'm gonna break it and then get quotes let's just see what it does I don't think it will understand what I mean because I don't even understand what I mean <laughs> so that, that was a, a very weird question but I just want to see what it does you can ask questions if you have specific questions obviously you can ask these questions I'll just wait until it, uh, it generates the response or maybe it doesn't and sure enough uh, pretty quickly it did just took a couple more seconds that I cut out from the video but it wasn't long at all so the answer is that it's difficult to to determine whether the participants are happy um, but then it, it kind of tells you about the content and summarizes what they said so 
there is definitely something there. Uh, let's do conduct thematic analysis because that's why you're here. And then we can ask uh, it to provide uh, different formats. Uh, so we can do a code book or an essay again. So which one do we want? Let's do an essay. It's a little bit more challenging. Um, let's just submit. I want an essay, a thematic analysis, submit. It's been a while. I'm still waiting for my essay. I think the last time I asked uh, this tool to generate an essay, I think that's when it kind of broke. It took ages and I never got my essay. But here it is. Actually, here it is. So uh, so you can see the themes uh, are here. So theme one, gender related challenges. Um, this is interesting. So gender related challenges. There are quotes which is another important thing because if you remember my video about ChatGPT, I had to really make sure that it uh, keeps and it, it uh, generates the quotes for me. This tool is good because it will always make sure to give you some quotes. You can also ask it specifically to provide quotes for, for everything. So, um, so here is our theme, theme one, theme three. So theme two is right here, four and so on and so forth. There is actually nine themes which is not too bad i suppose i'm not gonna read all of it but you can see that it does some kind of analysis and remember uh under each of these you can provide additional comments just like here for the essay i could provide additional instructions finally there is uh identifying certain viewpoints i'm not gonna go there just because i don't know what to ask it again i don't want it to be just as silly as my question about being happy but I do want to compare viewpoints across documents. So let's see, do males trust medical professionals more than females? What I'll do, do females, do female leaders experience more challenges than male leaders? And now I, I believe I have to uh, let this tool know who's a female. Um, so participant one is a male participant two is a female participant three is a male what do we have here more options get quotes yeah let's get quotes uh, that's fine let's just submit as you can see it can be quite nice and and complex uh, I like that for each task you can add more and more. Initially, when I first saw it, I felt like it's a little bit limited, but then I started to realize it actually gives you all these options to specify your uh, request, to narrow down your request, to ask for additional information. And like I said, it's good because it does give you the quotes, it gives you the theme, so pretty much things you need. As always, I would never rely on this exclusively. It's not going to do your analysis. It's not going to do your study. You don't want that, but it may be something that will help support your analysis. And as you can see here, we have our answer. So let's see, both male and female leaders face uh, challenges. There is no clear indication that female, uh, female leaders uh, have more challenges. I like that it still goes into the topic so so it kind of it continues the, the response and then it compares both male and female leaders employ similar strategies so it's not just saying no or i don't know it's actually uh, trying so to speak to to give you something even if it's not clear whether there are differences and now we can see uh, as you can see uh, we can also ask for the quotes so let's go to the quotes and here are the quotes uh, it's a bit weird because it's, it just said it's similar, but at least it gives us some quotes uh, to demonstrate that. And what else? And document extracts. Let's see what this does. And here are the extracts from specific documents. This uh, this single feature, in my opinion, uh, makes it uh, quite worth it because uh, the quotes are important. You have to. I always say you have to have evidence from your data. You can't just uh, be satisfied with some kind of a essay abstract essay about abstract themes here are all the quotes you can see there's quite a lot so 
I do like this. I do like this tool. I uh, recommend that you play with this tool as well. Let me know in the comments how you're finding this tool, whether it's good, whether it broke, uh, whether it didn't break, how you can use it. And let me know if you enjoy these videos. Let me know if you know of any tools that I haven't mentioned or reviewed yet that you are using maybe, or you've heard that could be used for qualitative research. As always, like the video if you learned something new, if you enjoyed watching it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and share it if you know people who could benefit from this kind of instruction.